while I charge my car here, I figured this might be a good opportunity to show you what an in-camera transition looks like. So while I look like a homeless person walking through this empty parking lot in the beautiful Manhattan Beach, there's opportunities to use your surroundings and do an in-camera transition. So for instance, this is what it would look like. The vast expanse of this parking lot Just like that, that's an in-camera transition. So going from one space to another and using a similar color wall or pillar or tree, whatever you have around you to your advantage and then doing an in-camera transition, you get that smooth change of location. It takes a little bit of planning. You wanna make sure that you have something in mind to your future destination. But if you can do a little bit of planning, you can do an in-camera transition like that and come up with something really cool. So, just come to Manhattan Beach, it's beautiful down here. That's a very weird name. I, I can't imagine that he's a very polite person that he's very considerate with a license plate like that. I just wanna make this PSA. If you are one of those drivers that, that paces other people and doesn't leave enough room for faster cars than you to get around, today's Sunday and on Sunday you don't swear. I don't know where that was written, but it was written somewhere. So don't be that driver. But if you're a Prius driver, I don't like you. I just need to sell your car or change your personality. I don't care if I get comments for that. If you're a Prius driver, I don't like you. Honestly, it doesn't really feel like I'm driving. It feels like this is an airplane and I'm really here just to monitor systems. I haven't driven since like 1998. I don't get it. Cute. <laughs> How could this be my fate? I should have married for money. Cars since then have just been computers. By the way, a little trick, if you hold your shoulder straight out and then hold your phone at the end of, you know, in, hold in your hand, just hold your shoulder straight out. As you go over bumps, just let your shoulder bounce and absorb all the shock. You have the built-in stabilizer right there. And that is why we need a triumphant video. Excellent! Yay! Gimbal for your phone. Just let your shoulder do the balancing. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Ow! Not crazy amounts, but just use your arm as a suspension arm. And then there you go. And then the internal stabilization of your phone will take care of the rest. Anything beyond that, you can do a digital stabilization inside DaVinci Resolve or CapCut and you have a really smooth shot. That's what she said. That was a good one. You're on fire. Make sure it's as wide as possible. If you're zoomed in, then it looks weird. You're going to get a lot of shake. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> oh, please. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> but if it's zoomed out, no matter which side of the camera you're filming, you're going to get a lot less shake. You're going to get a pretty nice, smooth shot. Don't be afraid. Be dramatic in your videos. Add something spicy. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I always react this way to spicy food. Okay. Yeah, but I love it. If you're gonna film in locations like Pasadena that are very cinematic, it's best that you shoot on a phone, not a big camera, because they know that it's cinematic and you're gonna get tapped with the film permit. Just a little heads up. Adding creative angles to your videos always helps out. Just make sure it's intentional. Always know your intention. My intention is to get through these Sunday drivers that train on how to annoy. That is my conspiracy theory. 
there's a training center somewhere and they figure out the most efficient way to annoy you the fastest, which is redundant because that efficiency would make them the fastest, yes. I like to provide you tips beyond filmmaking sometimes. If you ever get pulled over, <clears throat> the officer says, do you know why I pulled you over? Don't answer that question. That's an entrapment question. You can immediately invoke the fifth. Don't answer any questions actually. Just tell him or her to write the ticket and stop wasting your time. And then, I mean, don't say it like that. If, if you're rude, then they'll find a reason to search the car. Blah, 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 blah. Just don't answer any questions. Anyway, film it too, but film it in 4K or film it in 30 frames per second. And then when you export it, assuming that you can export it after you probably get arrested because they don't like to be filmed. All right, your current location. Oh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm on a road, uh, looks to be asphalt. Um... Oh jeez, trees, shrubs, uh, I'm directly under the earth, sun. Export it on a 24 frames per second timeline and you'll get this dreamy kind of look, which we can watch later on when you get out of jail. Also, you know what's really funny? If you go back and watch reruns of an old show called Chips. <laughs> Sometimes when CHP's writing a ticket, if you just start whistling or humming the theme song, yeah, they don't like that. But it's really funny, it is. They just take their job really seriously at CHP. I love you guys, don't pull me over. I appreciate the service that you guys do on the freeway, especially when you escort Caltrans and the street sweepers at 11 o'clock in the afternoon on the busiest freeways. I appreciate you. I drive electric, I don't know, is that good? I think they've gone down, I don't know. Like the fruit nets of the car world. Do Prius drivers know that the car does go above 25 miles an hour? Did I know that this is gonna turn into a tutorial on how to shoot with your iPhone? No, but you have to be spontaneous, you have to plan your shots, use your imagination. On my way home, I thought, hey, this would be a great idea for a video. Use your imagination and solve problems. That's the essence of being a filmmaker. I am back in my studio with my nice air conditioning. Next time you pull your phone out of your pocket, make sure to start shooting with the eye of a cinematographer. Use the lights, use different angles, use your environment to your advantage. Tell the story the way you want it told. Make sure to shoot in 30 frames per second so that when you export in 24 frames per second, you get the dreamy look like you get right now. And if you need to, do a little pre-planning. Use bounce like this. Use the tools you have with you. The best part about being a filmmaker is there's no restrictions on your imagination, on your creativity. Go out there, tell your story, use your mobile phone, use a gimbal, use your arm if you have to, use string, shoelaces, do whatever you have to do to tell your story. But with the technology that we have right now, you have a smartphone, you have the ability to be cinematic to tell your masterpiece. So with that, please consider subscribing, turning on all notifications and consider giving this video a thumbs up if you found this at all valuable. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down, push your computer into the trash. Love and kindness all the time. Thank you for watching. I am extremely grateful for every single one of you. It helps me build the channel, which allows me to make more videos, more tutorials, more reviews. I get to do what I love because hopefully I add some value to your life. That's the hope. If not, then there's wine.